And there it is, Elena Simons by way the the uh, 2014 championship one. Or actually, the Carifta record set 305-68 by Jamaica and Nassau in the Bahamas in 2013. So they are looking to see if they can do that again. Last year, the, the gold medal went to Trinidad and Tobago. They won in 306. And so we'll see if uh, the Jamaicans now can do something. The winner last year, Trinidad and Tobago in 306-02. Jamaica finished second last year in 307-71 in the Bahamas third in 311-32. So as we set up now this event now, uh, certainly this is if this one is going to be very, very good, my friend. Jamaica starting off in lane three. St. Kitts and Nevis in lane four. Trinidad and Tobago in lane five. Bahamas in lane six. And Tegan Barbuda in lane seven. In lane eight. And the final event of the 2015 edition of the Carista Games. And I can tell you, it is going to be fireworks in this one. The under 20 boys, 4 by 400 meters relay event, and everybody is just waiting. Marvin, just to see what is going to happen. Marvin Williams will lead things off for the Jamaicans here. St. Kitts and Nevis with a keen chumney. Turned down the bagels at Jamal Pierre. Henry Deleuze leading off for the Bahamas. Matthew Mitchell for Antigua and Barbuda. And then for Turks and Caicos, there's El Cliche Cleville. And they are down in the blocks. Ready to get this final event of the 2015 Carifta Games underway. Kim Collins Stadium in a hush for the final event. And here it goes. No issues with it. And now uh, we are immediately seeing on the outside lane, how about the runner from Antigua and Barbuda who is running so well, already made up the stagger. Looks like Henry DeLutz from the Bahamas also running well. And we see from the Trinidad and Tobago team, that's Jamal Pierre. Jamaica also again with Marvin Williams. And as they come around the turn on the back stretch and into the home stretch now for the first exchange, it is the Bahamas, Henry DeLutz with the lead. There is Antigua and Barbuda, the Jamaica's trilling at the moment. We know that changes very quickly for them. Trinidad and Tobago is in second. Here is the Turks Islands team as well. And on that first exchange, the Bahamas, Henry DeLutz hands off, followed by Trinidad and Tobago, it looks like, in second. So the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Antigua and Barbuda, that's Turks Island, sorry. And then we see the Antiguans right behind them. So at the moment, the St. Kitts and Nevis athlete, Warren Hazel. Yes, St. Kitts and Nevis rolling on against Turks Island. Was really made it. And as expected, here go the Jamaicans in first place. The Jamaicans have already overtaken the lead, and we see some contact now between Trinidad and Tobago and the Bahamas, but the Bahamas pushes back out in the second. Jamaica in first. Here is the Bahamas laboring behind them in second. Trinidad and Tobago in third, coming into the second exchange. It is Jamaica, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago. And he takes a look back to see where his competitors are. It will be Jamaica handing off first, followed by the Bahamas. And here is Trinidad and Tobago. There was our first three runners at the moment, our front runners, if you will, Jamaica, the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, following behind them. It is indeed St. Kitts and Nevis, followed by Turks Island, and then Antigua and Barbuda. But our runners out front, the Bahamas and Jamaica. There is Trinidad and Tobago on the back stretch, far currently in third, losing ground against the Jamaicans and the Bahamas. Jamaica, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, and then you see St. Kitts and Nevis in that fourth spot, Turks Island in fourth. Coming around the curve, the final turn, and into the home stretch for our last exchange. It is Jamaica. Leading it, followed by the Bahamas. Turks and Caicos in fourth, and sorry, in fifth. And here now, the Jamaica in first. The Bahamas, here comes Trinidad and Tobago. It will be a race to the finish, but the Jamaicans have the lead as this final leg being run by Michael O'Hara of Jamaica. Running strongly, stretching out that lead. The Bahamas does not look as if they'll be able to catch them. His question is, will he have some room? But he is indeed running hard. That's Stephen Green of the Bahamas. As they come into the final turn and into the home stretch, Jamaica, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, but uh, again, it will be Jamaica, as it will not be enough track in the world for Stephen Green to make up the ground on Michael O'Hara of Jamaica as they take the gold medal.
followed by the Bahamas in second for the silver. And third place will go to Trinidad and Tobago. The battle for fourth, won by Antigua and Barbuda, and there is St. Kitts and Nevis rounding out. And here is Turks Island finishing as well. But the four by fours, and again, there is, we haven't heard any word of any disqualifications. So, for all intents and purposes, Jamaica has swept the final four events of the 2015 Carifta Games here in St. Kitts and Nevis.